today we are going to show how to program a second uh, original key to a Toyota. You see this original key but not work. And uh, we have two KDJB smart keys here. And uh, KD Mate, KD Max. Okay, first we need to insert the KD Mate to the OBD port of the car. Okay, down. And now, first we need to enter the chip function in the Max and find in the bottom second hand remote programming function here enter here and put the original second key here then we're going to read data from it read successful and generate a kd this KDZB remote. Okay. Uh, this is this one is uh, with bot number two thousand. So we select this one. Okay. It's generating. And now, step two, we need to program the KD remote to the car. Okay, now we need to read uh, the car data to finish the programming of this key. Okay, we find the Toyota. Yeah, smart key system. Key or lost. And this is, this car is with four A transponder. So we're going to find it. Yeah, the board number two thousand. Okay, start it. And need to pick up the EPROM data first. step by step It's up, obtaining data, so we just need to wait for a moment. Okay, set the fire. And now we need uh, this another KDGB remote to generate as the emergency emergency key. Okay, here generate. And to select the the file we saved before, this one. 
select, select any of them okay okay done and now this remote can work as emergency key yeah can start the car okay 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 now we are going to program this kd remote to the car this one we uh, uh, write the original second hand data inside before so now we start to program it to the car okay eight keys and follow step by step okay turn on the ignition Okay. turn off the ignition then turn on the flasher The fire we saved the minutes before. This is Okay, so this now this remote can work. Okay, now and we go back to the chip function in the second hand remote and the step three. Okay. So, now we need to write uh, data of this remote to the original second one. Now we go back to the chip function site and uh, second hand remote program. Uh, step three. We need we need to write data uh, inside this remote back to the to the original second one. So we select this one and then go. Next step. Is that it? Oh. Okay, and to put this remote inside. Then, okay. Okay, now. Now. Okay. Okay. I can see. Unlock the car. Yeah, no, this, this remote can work. Okay, and we can start the car. Okay, down.